Future Trunks is one of the most compelling characters in Dragon Ball Z, in my opinion. But I happen to dig up some information that you may not have known about Trunks. So ladies and gentlemen, I hope you're ready to join me for my seven facts about Future Trunks. Let's go. Ah, what is up, people of all different types of ages, races, genders, and yes, even you other species out there watching this video. My name is Omega Pro, and Future Trunks has got to be my all-time favorite Dragon Ball Z character. So when I wanted to start making these videos on Dragon Ball Z, talking about some facts about characters and maybe just some stuff on the anime and manga in general, I figured why not start it off with the bang with my favorite character, Future Trunks. From his very arrival in the series, I've been in love with this dude. Of course, on a perfectly uh, platonic level, if you know what I'm saying. And I remember the first time I ever saw him on Tsunami, I literally went into my kitchen, I grabbed a broom and pretended like I had Trunks' sword. That's a true fact. You can ask my sister, my mom, my brother. I, I, I don't, actually don't talk to my family. You guys are fucking weird. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead and get on to these seven facts. Of course, if you do like this video and if you love Trunks, let me see that, that little, that little like button. You know what I'm saying? If you want to see more, feel free to leave a comment on who you want me to do a video on next. Uh, pause. Okay. Fact number one. We're all aware of the future Trunks timeline, right? You know, you got the evil androids and they're, and they're killing everybody. You know, you got Trunks and Gohan being the last of the Saiyans and Gohan actually being the only one of these living Saiyans to achieve Super Saiyan. Well, you know, I guess that is until, you know, Gohan dies and in a fit of rage, Trunks ascends and he gets the Goldilocks, you know what I'm saying? Well. Actually, things played out a little bit differently in the manga than it did in the anime. In the manga, Trunks was actually shown to ascend to Super Saiyan form before Gohan's unfortunate death. Fact number two. In Dragon Ball Z episode 194, Trunks returns to his original timeline and kills artificial human versions of Android 17 and 18. And funnily enough, if you flip the, the, the 94, that's the 149th fight in the... Wait, I don't think that's how it works. What, 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 what I meant is you flip the 94 and it's... Uh, 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 49, all right, whatever. Fact number three, when we got our very first glimpse of Trunks after the Frieza saga, he was able to suppress his power level to a merely five, which is so much more less than that of a Cyberman, which has the power level of 1200. Talk about hiding your net. I was gonna say something uh, pretty naughty, but let's keep it PG for the one time. I, I feel everybody out shit for the one. <laughs> what am I saying? And speaking of Trunks' arrival, in our next fact, that's right, some might call it fact number four, he was actually only 17 years old when we were first introduced to his character, and subsequently he was born in age 766. Fact number five, his battle against the androids where he would eventually first transform into Super Saiyan, at least in the anime, happened in age 780. However, despite his ascension, he would still fall to the power of the androids. Trunks would then spend the next few years in training, looking to avenge his people. And then in age 783, future Bulma reveals the time machine to Trunks, which of course sparks the events that would happen in Goku and Friends timeline. Fact number six. In Trunks' timeline, it is believed that Goku is actually the one that defeated Frieza and King Cole. However, 
that might not be the case because during a conversation between Piccolo and Cell, where Cell details his past, Cell actually implies that it was future Trunks that defeated Frieza and King Cold, not only in this main timeline, but also in the future timeline. And for the final fact, some might call it fact number seven, I don't know, I don't wanna, you know, assume genders or anything, but Trunks has actually defeated every single major villain in Dragon Ball Z. You want you you, you want the evidence? Well, well I well I got gotcha. you. When we first see him, he obviously kills Mecha Frieza and King Cold. Boom, that's Frieza, major villain numero uno. He also destroys an unborn cell alongside Krillin. So that's number two. But then that's not even enough because then when he returns to his own timeline, he kills the future cell there. So he killed cell twice. And then of course, nearly nine years after destroying cell's world, Trunks would fight and kill future Deborah and future Bobbity, which would then of course prevent Majin Buu from ever existing in that timeline. So boom, there you have it. You have Frieza, you have Cell, you have Deborah, Bobbity, and I guess subsequently that defeats Majin Buu if you wanna if you wanna count that. But Trunks has defeated every single major Dragon Ball Z villain. And a little bonus fact for you, just because I'm feeling a little bit generous, Trunks gets his name, like the rest of his family, from undergarments. I, I, I don't know, I don't know what to, what to tell you, that's uh, pretty, pretty embarrassing. But yeah, everybody, that was my seven facts about Trunks. If you guys did enjoy this video, consider leaving it a like rating, subscribe here if you're new. If you wanna see more of these kinds of videos, let me know with the support and the comments and the likes and everything like that, because that'll make me feel just a little bit happy, I guess. Um, anyway, my name is Omega Pro. I wanna thank you all so much for watching this video. I'm gonna go, you know what I'm saying? Peace.